So last week we took a look at the Elgato Wave Panel, their take on sound paneling. Well, this week we're going to take a look at one of their other new products, the Elgato Light Strip, their take on RGBW lighting. At the price of 60 US dollars, these actually offer some pretty good competition with the leading competitor in this field, Philips, whose light strip runs for 80 US dollars. So let's see how Elgato stacks up. But first, make sure to hit the like and sub button if you want to see more videos like this. The light itself runs a length of 78.74 inches, offers a brightness of 2000 lumens, and has the color range of 3500 to 6500K. For comparison, Philips Light Strips runs the same length of 78.7 inches, has a lower lumen output of 1600, but offers a wider color range of 2000 to 6,500K. In short, the Elgato light strips offer less of a color range, but are a lot brighter than the Philips. Setup is pretty straightforward. You just apply the lights where you want them using the sticky adhesive provided on the back. I went with placing it behind my computer desk because, well, I like seeing the RGB lights for myself. I've had them up for a little over half a week now, and the adhesive so far has remained pretty strong. Once you have them set up, you'll need to install the Elgato Control Center app, either on your desktop or your phone. Follow the instructions to sync your lights to your Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. I will say that I did encounter an issue where the Control Center app would keep crashing on the desktop after I set up the lights, no matter how many times I reset it, so I just ended up having to uninstall them and reinstall it, and once I did, there were no more issues. So, worth pointing that out. But honestly, I prefer using the phone app anyways, because you can save up to six sets of colors as your favorites for easy switching, which you can't do on the desktop version. However, if you happen to own a stream deck, you can program that to work with your light strips. You can set up a power button, color presets, and adjust brightness and temp. It's pretty neat, but kind of a bummer that you need a stream deck if you want to set presets just using the desktop. At the very least, the phone app is still available and free. Now, one of the big selling points of these lights is that they're supposed to be flicker free. Typically, LED lights can flicker when shown on camera, and you'll need to adjust your shutter speed to reduce this. You can see this happening here with the Philips light strip. Meanwhile, the Elgatos do not flicker. This makes the Elgato light strips the better choice if your goal is to use them to decorate a studio or behind you for your at-home streaming setup, which, yeah, is kind of Elgato's whole deal. If you're somebody like me who likes decorating their space in RGB lighting, then the Elgato light strips are a pretty easy recommendation from me. They're good quality, easy setup, and brighter than their leading competition, the Philips, as well as being $20 cheaper. If you're in the market for some good LED light strips, I would definitely give these a look. Thank you for watching to the end of this short, but hopefully enjoyable video. If you haven't already, please uh, give us a like and sub. Like I said at the beginning, it really does help us out a lot. It lets us know that you guys enjoy these type of videos and that we get to keep making more videos like this one. Speaking of, as I mentioned at the beginning, I do have a other video on the Elgato wave panels, talking about acoustic sound paneling and what that can potentially do for your space. So if you haven't already seen that, why not go check that out?